Hey, what's up, Internet? This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends here doing a tutorial on Simple Region Market. This is a fun plugin that I found a while ago. It's just a way that you can put uh, rental properties, uh, owning, letting, uh, into the palms of uh, your players' hands. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, it's really easy to set up. There's not a whole lot to do around among the back end but it's there if you want to get kind of crazy so I'm gonna assume that you already got the plugin running uh, once you have it running these are the the files that are gonna show up once you have it running um, it's pretty basic your English file is just what what the plugin is gonna say if you want to configure the, the wording the colors that kind of stuff that's real do it config file is pretty general limits if you want to restrict how many things that you want people to own rents operate all that stuff and then templates how you want the signs to look so that's pretty much it let's uh let's hop over and start looking through these files the config file like i said i really didn't do much with this i just kind of dropped it in there did very sm small tweaks and then just ran it it's all done in game it's fantastic but there's things you can edit in here if you want um you can uh, disable economy, you can turn on and off logging, you can set the admin or to what account the def by default money goes to when people buy or sell regions if they leave the player blank. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, English this is just the wording. There's other languages available from the creator because the creator actually is not English or that's not their native language, but... Um, yeah, so that's how it goes. The limits, that's the this is the only thing I configured on configured on my plugin was the limits is I wanted to limit how many uh properties somebody could own and then how many they could rent at any time uh just globally. You can restrict this all the way down to the worlds, you can restrict this based on groups. I didn't do that, I just did global flat it's done. All right, now the templates. Now you can uh change what the signs look like you can change how the input looks by traditionally you just put sell at the top the region or name the price and then the account that you want to associate if you leave it blank it goes to the admin just to the server it's gone poof so and then once it's inputted uh this is what it looks like um that it shows on the server when it's available or on the sign when it's available and then once it's sold this is what sh which shown you can edit these things I've seen people get really crazy and creative with those but that's pretty much it I left mine default it works let's hop into minecraft and just see how it all looks all right so here we are in my world um, now simple region market relies heavily on world guard uh, if you don't have world guard installed it'll tell you when you start it up um, so I'm here at one of these regions that I want my players to be able to buy. Uh, so I, I select the region and I go expand vert. That's going to extend it to the to bedrock to sky. And then I just define region define lot two. So now we got uh, the region defined as lot two. So we come over here and then we place down a sign. Now this is where the formatting comes in. If you're going to do a sell sign, you go sell, that's it, sell. Uh, you select the region that you define, lot 2. Now you don't need to do any kind of custom configuration. By default, when you define a region, it protects it only for the owners, and that's all you need to do. Um, if you want to get crazy, yeah, never mind. If you want to get crazy, I do have a tutorial on World Guard setup. Uh, you can check it out right here and have fun with it so anyway and then mine's actually free it's just something i'm doing but uh and then i leave the last one blank because that's going to be for the admin so now that you can see it's got the cost the lot number and then it has the the coordinates that is associated with it all right let's show you one more sign then we'll be done i'll show you the the rental sign now uh here's the the shops that i've set up now we want to select the area. Now it's important that I didn't select the fences because if I select the fences, then the player will be able to edit the fences. So, and then we'll put the for sale sign. Now, instead of sale, we do rent. Now, the difference between rent and let, rent is 
it's going to completely change owner when it, the time runs out. Now, let is where if a player wants to allow somebody else to operate on their property as well as them. It's So that's the difference. Anyway, so now we want to put, oh man, you know what? I'm totally getting ahead of myself. I didn't define the region. Region define, uh, let's just do shop one. So now I define the region. All right, so rent shop one, and then we'll do 500 greenies. That's the price, and then you do a colon, and then the time. So you can do uh, hours, minutes, days, and I think even seconds. Yeah, and you just put the number, and then a D, uh, or you could do month, weeks, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do one week. And then leave it as the admin. Um, oh, wait. Maybe I can't do that. Okay. I can't do weeks. Rent. I think I know you can do days. So we'll do days. Uh, 500 and then one. Let's do seven days. So there we go. Now, when somebody right clicks on it, they will rent it for seven days. When the time expires, it's up for rent again and anybody else can take it. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's very cool, very simple, and pretty much just goes. Um, just the layout of all the signs is what's the big deal about it. So, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, this is Cons for Minecraft Friends, and uh, enjoy the game. Oh.